Hello kids, for Kids Art Fun, we're going to an amazing and spectacular piece of architecture in London called the Westminster Abbey. We're starting the drawing with the big towers that are on both sides of the front of the abbey. This is a spectacular building. Outside it's very grand, but inside it's amazing with huge vaulted ceilings and the most ornate and gorgeous stonework all over the place. It's a very famous building that's had so many historical events. So many famous dead people have been through this place and many of them are still there, buried there. We'll talk about that more later. Notice how we're drawing the towers. We draw them close to each other. We're looking at the abbey from the left side in the front. So we see the left side of the abbey, but not the right. Now, there's lots and lots of detail on this drawing, and this is not an easy drawing. So please pause the video. I am at your disposal. You can pause it and then draw what I've drawn so far, and then start up again for a few minutes and then pause it again and draw that. There's many, many details in the stonework, in the windows, in all the little lines and all the little structures around the front of the building. Now, Westminster Abbey has been constructed over many, many centuries, and it was actually started many, many centuries ago. It was started by Henry III in 1245, which is, what, 900 years ago. It's considered one of the most important Gothic buildings in the country. Gothic architecture was a style of architecture that is characterized by windows that come up rounded and then meet in the center as a point. So you have these huge windows that come to a point in the center. We're drawing the front entryway, which is very grand at the Abbey. And this building is very, very tall. So where we're drawing right now, the front of the building with the windows atop, that doorway is many, many, many people high. So a person is really tiny compared to the front of this huge building. Now take your time, get these details right. We have lots of nice little block details there, windows and openings, and you can stop the video and get them where they're supposed to be. Now, the Westminster Abbey has been the place where all the kings and queens of the British monarchy have been coronated. That means received their crown when they've been officially named king or queen since 1066. And that also is a long time, almost a thousand years. 39 coronations have taken place in Westminster Abbey. Okay, we've got the main part of the Abbey all drawn in. So let's do some coloring. Again, we're gonna choose a brownish color for all the stonework on the front, but we have many different shades we're using. We're using a brownish pink and a brownish brown, and also a light kind of tan color. And that'll give the front of the drawing lots of distinction and lots of interest. The inside of the abbey is absolutely spectacular. The ceilings and the arched windows, they're just beautiful with big stained glass. And the ceiling itself is all this ornate stonework hung way, way, way above your head. It's very, very impressive to see. Okay, we're using a medium brown color for all the little crossbars that we're coloring in here. And I'm gonna do the lower part of the wall at the bottom of the abbey, around the doorway, lots of little details. As I said, there's a lot of drawing and a lot of coloring on this nice picture we're making. So, you know, take your time. If you need to slow me down, just click pause and I stop. But when you click go again, I get going. So, yeah, enjoy yourself. Don't rush it. That's the main thing. Don't rush it. Make it really nice. Now, 
There's a beautiful organ at Westminster Abbey, and when it plays, it makes the most amazing sound throughout the whole church. It's, it's a huge space, and so when you have this huge pipe organ blasting away, you just can't help but feel impressed and feel it right to your insides. Okay, I'm using a very light color around these windows now, just kind of putting a little shading in, actually. Now, the front of the Westminster Abbey is so big, it dominates our picture because we're looking at such an angle that the big part of the inside of the building, where that middle peak is, goes way back, but we can't see it for the bushes and the front of the building. There's a lot of royalty and kings and queens and princes buried at Westminster Abbey. But there's also a lot of other famous people, people who were important to England and its history and science and writing. That includes like Isaac Newton, Charles Dickens, they're all buried there. And you can see their coffins, their stone coffins when you go in there. If you saw the back of the abbey, we're just looking at the front when we're drawing it, it goes way back and is huge and beautiful and ornate as well, with so many decorative stone pieces coming off of it. It's quite impressive. So now we're just finishing the front of the building and that piece that comes out, and now the side toward the left. Kind of a reddish-brown color. We're going to use that color for the parts that come off the side of the abbey and then in the back as well. Just get it in those little peaks and that's it. If you need to pause, do so and catch up. It's a good time to take a break here and get everything colored exactly right. Okay, I'm going to finish this one little left side of the tower, and that pretty much finishes the building. So now we're going to make some different color greenery around. A little bluish green, a little greenish green, and a little lighter green, so that each of those little piles of trees and greenery look different. And if you notice, we've got clouds in the sky, but in this drawing, we're just going to leave them uncolored. We can just see the white puffy clouds rolling through the light color sky. I'm going to put a little bit of grayish blue to bring out in the front. And there, we're done with drawing Westminster Abbey a most impressive and magnificent building in London, England, and a very important building in the history of the country. Thanks for joining us. Do subscribe to Kids Art Fun and come back for many more wonderful drawings. See you.